Hello guys, uh, it's Doug at uh, BudgetAstro.net. I'm back. Uh, haven't been away for oh, over a year now, I think, since my last video. Shame on me. Uh, I do apologise, those of you that have been waiting for a new one. Um, but I've had uh, other things to contend with, and I haven't had the opportunity to do this, and these videos take a while. But I'm here now, and that's all that matters. Um, okay, this is uh, a new video, uh, and it's on uh, noise reduction uh, in uh, channels. Uh, that's noise reduction using individual red, green and blue channels instead of in the, on the image as a whole. Um, makes a difference, as you'll see, hopefully, when we're finished. Um, I've had a few requests um, recently to do um, a video on uh, layer masking, uh, which I did promise to do uh, ages ago. I never did it. Uh, I've mentioned it in a few of my uh, tutorials, but I haven't um, gone into it in any depth. Um, I will do that. I'm working on a way to do it because uh, we've... Um, layer masking you're only limited really by your imagination there's so much you can do with it so it's just a question of what goes in uh, but that hopefully will be coming soon so uh, anyway let's crack on with this one now this is uh, an image of the double cluster in uh, Perseus um, which I did fairly recently um, and what it's, it's sort of semi-processed I've stretched it uh, applied a couple of stretches a couple of levels um, so it's not finished but um, it's enough to reveal the noise and I've duplicated the image we've got this one uh, and we've got this one. Uh, they're exactly the same. Uh, so I did the same level of processing and uh, just as noisy as each other. Um, now if I zoom in to this image on that star there, one, two, three, five, um, hopefully you can, I'll go in a bit further. There you go. Hopefully you can see the, um, see the noise. Uh, very noisy. Um, uh, and that's what we're going to try and get rid of. We won't get rid of all of it, but hopefully we'll get rid of a fair bit. And uh, and then I'll show you the difference between the two images. That's why, that's why I've got the image duplicated. I'm going to do one using one process, just working on the image as a whole, and then the other one, uh, reducing the noise in the individual channels. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is uh, duplicate the background layer. Uh, just uh, drag the background layer to this little button down here, and then let go, and you've got a background copy. Uh, and we're going to use that to... Um, do the noise reduction. So uh, I've got that selected. Up to filter, I use um, Noise Ninja, picture code Noise Ninja uh, for my noise reduction. Uh, there's no reason to suspect that this won't uh, work in whatever package you use. Um, it should work in all of them. Um, so this is uh, Noise Ninja, and the first thing you do is profile the image. You, you select an area of the image that isn't uh, uh, covered with stars, uh, if you can find one. Uh, and it uses that to gauge the level of noise. Uh, I'm going to select, well, the, you've got two radio buttons down here, colours and uh, luminance. Um, I don't find they make a lot of difference, to be honest. It doesn't affect the area that it selects, but I'll select colours because we're uh, reducing it in the, in the, with a colour image. Uh, and then hit profile image, and that will select an area of the image. Okay. Now, if you look at, um, you probably can't see it. Um, but uh, the, the image has been profiled and it tells that there's a, a, a readout here, 17 LUM, which is luminance, the 39 chroma, which is the colour. Um, and that tells you the level of noise, first of all in the luminance and then in the colour. So luminance is 17, uh, colour is 39, so it's noisier in, uh, the, in, in, in colour than it is in the luminance. So I'm going to click on that filter tab. And we have luminance and colour noise reduction levels here, the strength, smoothness and contrast. Uh, luminance I'm going to leave as it is, and colour I'm just going to bump it up a tad because it's a bit noisier in the, in the um, chroma. Uh, I'll leave the contrast as it is. I tend not to, well, for this particular image, this is just a cluster, so it doesn't really matter. But contrast, uh, if you're working with a nebula um, or a galaxy, it, it, an image where there's sort of fine detail and you want to preserve that detail, then the, the, that contrast slider will probably make a difference. Um, coarse noise, I'm going to leave that alone because that tends to go a bit over the top in an RGB image. And then click OK, and that hopefully will reduce the noise eventually. Off you go. Yeah, it's done. Now, if I click that top layer on and off, off, noisy, on, not so noisy. So the noise is, uh, has been reduced, as you can see. Hopefully, you can see that. Um, what you may also notice, um, not so much this big star here, uh, but the smaller stars around here, if I click that on and off, um, they've lost their colour. Particularly this one here. Uh, if you look at that one there, I'll click it on. Colour's gone. Off. And it's uh, orange. And it tends to lose its colour. Um, 
Now, when I show you the uh, noise reduction, which I'll do in a minute, uh, in the individual channels, you'll find that um, that doesn't actually happen. So let's go to the other image now. Auto save 16 copy, and I'm going to duplicate the background layer again, like we did before. I'll try that again. There we go. Um, now I'm going to go into channels, and we've got RGB at the top, which is the combined, or you know, all three combined, and then we've got red, green, and blue. And I can select each one of them red, horrendously noisy, green, not quite so bad, and blue. When well, I show you blue in a minute, that's a joke. Um, so we do the red one first, uh, the red channel on its own. Filter, picture code, noise ninja, same as before. Uh, I'm going to leave luminance selected now because we're just working in luminance, there's no colour in this image. Um, in this layer, I should say, uh, or channel, get it right, Doug. Um, profile image, and it's selected an area of the image that uh, doesn't have a lot of stars. And if you look at these these readouts now, you've got 27 lum luminance, one chroma. Don't know where the one chroma comes from, to be perfectly honest, because no colour in this image anyway. But uh, but there you go. Um, so 27 in the luminance. So we go into filter. I'll knock the colour. Um, sliders right back down. I, I, that probably doesn't make the slightest bit of difference, but I'll do it because it makes me feel better. Um, and luminance 27. I'm going to bump this up just a little bit up to 12. Leave the contrast as it is. Coarse noise, definitely, absolutely horrendous. Turbo, I'll leave alone um, because that turbo charges it and it can go a bit over the top. Uh, click OK. Off it goes. And it's reduced considerably, really. Um, still noisy, but uh, not too bad. Okay. Uh, now we do the green, click on the green channel, um, same thing, filter, picture code, noise ninja, uh, profile image as before. Um, what we got now, 25 lum, luminance, one chroma, slightly less noisy than the red, leave, it, leave the luminance there anyway. Filter, uh, colours down to zero, doesn't make any difference. Um, put this up to 11 this time because it's slightly less noisy than the red, whoops, get back down, that's it. Coarse noise, yes, it is coarse, okay. That's the green done, and now the blue. Ready for this? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, oh, where are we? Filter, picture code, noise ninja, profile image. 36 this time. Um, not as bad as some I've seen. Uh, filter, colours down to zero. Bump this up to what? I don't know, 13. Guesswork this, these numbers, guesswork, no science to it. Coarse noise, click OK. There. Ooh, makes a difference. Um, select all three channels up the top there by clicking on the RGB, back to layers, and now if we click them on and off, noise is reduced as you can see, and you can also see, hopefully, that the stars retain their colour. Some stars have disappeared, I have to say, but that's uh, something you have to play with. Adjust the uh, the levels in the uh, noise reduction accordingly. Uh, but there you go. Okay, now uh, we've um, uh, the top layer selected in both the images, I hope. Uh, in that one, yep. And in that one, okay. Um, if I click between the two images, um, the noise has been reduced in, uh, in both. Not perfect, but uh, better than it was. And... Um, if you look at the stars, particularly, well, not, not so much the great big stars, you know, they, they haven't lost too much colour, they've lost a bit, but not too much. But if you look at these smaller stars around here, um, you'll see, you can see the difference, or you should be able to. Um, particularly this star, um, no colour, that's reducing the noise in the image as a whole, and um, loads of colour, uh, and that's reducing the, uh, uh, the noise in the in individual channels. And as an added bonus, guys, you will notice you've got some uh, nice green stars that you didn't have before. Just what you wanted, green stars. Um, <laughs> if you turn that layer on and off, uh, they were a little bit funny coloured before, but the uh, this noise reduction um, as it appears to have enhanced that green. It's not that bad, but they are, there is a slight green tinge to them. There is a plug-in called HL, uh, get me, let me get this right, HLVG, Hasta La Vista Green, uh, by uh, Rogelio Andrea on Deep Sky Colours deepskycolors.com um, free Photoshop plugin uh, just download it and it gets rid of green and it will take care of that but it, as I say it's not that bad um, ok uh, there you go I'll reduce these uh, back down to 25% um, you won't be able to see any difference between them at that level I wouldn't have thought no there you go they look exactly the same 
Um, anyway, that's it. I hope you found that useful. Um, noise reduction in the individual channels, and it does retain the star colour, there's no doubt about that. Uh, and it does give you uh, added control over the uh, individual um, channels. You've, you've seen that um, the noise level in the individual channels tends to vary. It does tend to be noisier in the blue channel. Um, and this gives you more control over the amount of noise reduction you apply to each of the channels. It becomes a little bit more precise, a little bit more exact uh, than just um, you know slapping noise reduction over the whole image. Alright guys, I hope that's um, useful and uh, hopefully I shall um, see you again soon when I do the um, uh, layer masking tutorial which will hopefully not be too long. Alright guys, I shall uh, switch you again soon. Cheers, bye bye.